Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the established multidisciplinary artist known as Davish. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the immense energy born from this crystalline texture. We're also going to explore the discovery of the electromagnetic or the light spectrum. So let's jump right into it. So at first sight, remember the shattered subject. It just strikes us instantly. It's hard not to feel a sense of awe and even a bit of unsettling from this rather strange sight, right? One of the first things I notice is this placement in space. It mimics a portrait in a lot of ways, right? We have the bust and the head, of course, creating a very intimate visual experience. We're met face to face with this lone subject. One of the first things I also notice is this sense of texture here, right? It just strikes you instantly. We see this crystalline texture. There's just so much going on within this composition. This invigorates the work with a ton of visual energy that's just impossible to, to ignore here. And I also notice, you know, the impact of light and color here, right? We talked a little bit about these crystalline forms. We'll go a little bit deeper on that here in a second, but you can see this quite clearly, right? We have pretty much every color possible from yellow to green to purple blue so much going on within the composition at hand so the intense vibrance of this composition and the immense saturation is bound to give even more visual energy alongside that aforementioned sense of texture we also see these pyramids that are kind of hovering around our lone subject's head right this gives unique sense of rhythm and even points to a slight sense of surrealism within this scene i want to ask y'all you know how do y'all feel when you first saw this work of course, the subject before us appears at least humanoid in nature in some way or another, but despite this, it feels very bare bones. One may even call this, you know, kind of skeletal in nature. As we can see, the tendons, it is just bare bones in every sense of the word. Of course, our subject also feels a little naked here, right? There is this sense of purity within the work, and that is pretty important whenever we talk about crystals, right? We typically associate crystals with a sense of purity and the divine, right? They catalyze light. They make light even more intense. But within this work, it is anything but pure. It is shattered. It is intense. It is invigorating. And I think we certainly see that within the composition at hand. Of course, we have this iridescent color pretty much changing in every sense. If this was kind of a motion media work, you would expect this to be shimmering and changing colors, especially these, you know, rather multicolored pyramids as well. Especially, you know, you look at something like that, it looks like it's in the midst of changing, so that adds even more energy to the composition at hand. And these pyramids are, you know, not here by mistake. I think it is by design. Of course, the pyramid or the prism more broadly is very important to the discovery of the electromagnetic or the light spectrum. It was Isaac Newton who first discovered that you could take a prism and put it and really reveal every color that we see within the visible light spectrum, right? We say the visible light spectrum because these are the only colors that we can see. And light was later discovered to be a wave, so that's also very important as well. So it is a wave and it shows every color that is possible to our eye here. The original artist was talking about this fascination with the light spectrum whenever he was creating this work. So I think we certainly see the results of that within this work, right? You see, of course, every color possible within the work at hand. It is absolutely striking. One of the colors you don't see too much is red, but you do see a variation of that. Of course, a lighter hue in the form of pink. So it does make its voice heard within the work at hand. And it's hard to say who or what this subject is, but regardless, we can't help but wonder exactly what is happening here. And I want to ask y'all, you know, what do y'all see when you view this work or who do you think this subject is? You know, he is a man who bends and breaks a spectrum of light. And I think we certainly feel the energy present within this stunning and striking composition. So really hope y'all enjoyed today. The work before us is primarily made in the 3D art program known as Blender. But aside from that, you have some additional edits in Adobe Photoshop as well as Topaz Studio. So a work of 3D art, but some additional edits in two other programs, of course, Photoshop and Topaz Studio. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed today. Davish creates so many different works. I believe this is his either fourth or fifth showcase, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of studies that I've created for this artist, and it's always a blast to study his work. So if y'all enjoyed the episode today, if you enjoyed this work of art, go check out the original artist Davish, also known as Davish.jpg. 
Jpg doing some amazing stuff in the world of 3D art. You know, really a master of that program known as Blender. He creates works every single day, which is quite difficult for a lot of artists. You know, some try to create everyday works but end up falling short. But the fact that he has such a consistent output really points to his mastery of the program which he works within. So yeah, like I said, I really hope you'll enjoy it today. We talked about everything from this crystalline texture, the sense of energy within this work, the iridescent color colored, this multicolored. We talked about the discovery of the light spectrum. We connected it to the prism. We also talked about the 3D art program Blender, which this was created in. So yeah, like I said, I really hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, go check out the original artist, Davish. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Polar Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.